And now here's a bulletin from the WKIC newsroom. As it is right now, they're still dredging the river here in front of us. The bus hasn't been found. The bodies of the kids are still in the bus. We have a two-mile vantage point here of the highway, and the river makes a bend around in front of us here. And, of course, all of the working crews uh, and the people are gathered mainly on the opposite side of the river. At this stage, the river... Uh, is filled with boats of all types and fashion and have so far been unsuccessful in locating the bus. Uh, and Paul, uh, the last that we heard was, uh, I believe, that they are building a barge. Is that right? That's right. They're building a barge. I think they have a truck bed and they are fastening onto this truck bed a number of 55-gallon uh, drums and they intend to place this in the river there and send uh, divers down to try and locate and hook on to the bus. Well, it's completely dark here now. We're still standing beside the muddy, swirling waters of the Big Sandy River, three miles south of Prestonsburg. It's seven o'clock, and they have just notified us here that the rescue operation has been called off until daylight tomorrow morning. This is by far the most tragic event that has ever taken place here in this part of the country. Even entire families are lying at the bottom of this cold, muddy river here tonight. Paul, is there anything that you'd like to add before we return to our studios? Might add, Ernest, that they call the parents over by the loudspeaker and ask them to line up those parents who have children in the school bus and ask them to vote whether they should continue working tonight and the parents voted, I understand, to call it off until tomorrow. They have the entire river bank here for, I'd say, a thousand feet each way from the rescue scene, completely dotted or completely lined with electric lights. The boats are all pulled to the side now, and the divers, I believe we mentioned earlier that they do have divers from Huntington, and all rescue operations have been called off. As I said earlier, as many as three or four kids out of one family has been reported missing and are still lying at the bottom of this cold, muddy river here tonight. Paul, uh, do you have the name or do you remember the name of the fellow that lives right back of us here that uh, had, I believe, three kids in this bus? Mr. J.B. Goebel, I think was his name. He had two boys and, and one daughter in that uh, accident this morning. We have talked with several people here tonight, and they all agree that this is by far the most tragic situation that has ever taken place here in eastern Kentucky. Of course, the flood that went through here did thousands of dollars of damage, but of course, homes and property that was destroyed can all be replaced. Tonight, there are families, kids, teenage boys, teenage girls lying at the bottom of this cold river, and of course, it is a scene that's actually uh, so tragic that it's hard to describe. Paul, I'm going to turn it back now unless you have something final to say. I might say that as yet, as far as we know, Ernest, they haven't located the bus yet. We've been here since, uh, well, since noon, practically since noon, and they've searched and uh, gone back and forth, and as far as we know, they still haven't located the bus. That's right, and of course they have been hampered by the cold weather. The temperature has dropped down into the low 30s. The wind still is blowing, and of course they've been hampered by the darkness now, and it has been called off, so now we return you to our main studios.